Hey Angie, Family TV. 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 Welcome to Hey Angie, Family TV, the channel where learning takes place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Hello everyone, welcome to Your Daily Dosage. Your Daily Dosage is where you get your spiritual breakfast to start you off for the day. Today on Your Daily Dosage, we'll be continuing part two of Fundamentals of Home Making. Right, because um, in part one, we have talked about how our souls and our homes should be kept. But there are some things that will happen um, if we are not clean and if we are not attractive. And so, um, let us pray. Dear God and our Father, again, we approach you. We thank you for this reading. We thank you for this light that has been given to us. And may you help us, Lord, that we will shine and that we will shine brightly. In Jesus' name, amen. A neglect of cleanliness will induce disease. Sickness does not come without a cause. Violent epidemics of fevers have occurred in villages and cities that were considered perfectly healthful. And, have, and these have resulted in death or broken constitutions. In many instances, the premises of the very ones who fell victims to these epidemics contain the agents of destruction which sent forth from deadly poison into the atmosphere to be inhaled by the family and the neighborhood it is astonishing to witness the prevailing ignorance relative to the effects which slackness and recklessness produce upon health order necessary for a happy home god is displeased with this order sickness and lack of thoroughness in anyone these deficiencies are serious e evils and tend to be win the affections of the husband from the wife when the husband loves order well disciplined children and a well regulated house a wife and mother cannot make home agreeable and happy unless she possesses a love for order perseveres her dignity preserves our dignity and as good government therefore all who fail on these points should begin at once to educate themselves in this direction and to cultivate the very things we are in their greatest lack so where we see that we are lacking all we have to do is to just identify it and then when we identify it we just work on these things that we are lacking when we give ourselves unreservedly to the lord the simple commonplace duties of home will be seen in their true importance and we shall perform them in accordance with the will of god we are to be vigilant watching for the coming of the son of man and we must also be diligent working as well as waiting is required there must be a union of the two this will balance the children character right so when i am saying the same thing and my husband saying the same thing then we will get order in the home but if i am saying one thing and he's saying the other thing then you know children will tend to go on one side and the other on the other side but when we are united in christ when we are saying the same thing when we are on one accord then the home will also be in order this will balance the christian character making it well developed symmetrical we should not feel that we are neglected we are to neglect everything else and give ourselves up to meditation study our prayer neither are we to be full of subtle and or work to the neglect of personal piety waiting and watching and working are to be blended not subtle in business fervent in spirit and serving the lord in many homes the wife and mother has no time to read parents let this not be said of us 
to keep herself well informed. No time to be a companion to her husband. No time to keep in touch with the developing minds of their children. There's no time or place for the precious savior to be a close dear companion. Little by little she sinks into a mere household drudge. Her strength and time and interest absorbing the things that perish with the using. Too late, she awakes to find herself almost a stranger in her own home. The precious opportunities wants hers to influence her dear ones for the higher life, unimproved, have passed away forever. So we know that um, we have a busy life. In this life, we are busy, you know, and so forth. But let us not too busy for our houses let us not too busy for our children because sometimes our children are in the home and they are not feeling our presence we are there but we are not there let this not be said of you let this not be said of us that our children are in the same home with us and they are not feeling our presence there must be time that the family come together read together decide together gather the family together gather the children together read together reason together find out what is happening in their lives because as children um, children growing children they need us and they need to say something to us but sometimes we are too busy and we don't have any time and this when we do this our home is not in a mannerly order or in an order that God has expected us to do sometimes we are busy with church work sometimes we are busy with work or other things and we neglect our children or our spouse again let it let it not be said of you let it not be said of us because god is going to hold us guilty for this our children can be in our home and they are lost right yes i know that and so let us not too busy let us take on the responsibility let us spend some time in our home with our family even 20 minutes for each day trust me it will help and these times will just pass away and improve and we wonder um where time went or where um when did my children grow but they were right there but we were too busy taking up with other things so let us uh, spend some time with our family and finally all the work we do that is necessary to be done be it washing dishes setting tables waiting upon the sick cooking or washing is of moral importance these are very important the humble tasks before us are to be taken up by someone and those who do them should feel that they are doing a necessary and honorable work and that in their mission humble though it may be they are doing the work of god just as surely as as was gabriel when sent to the prophets all are working in their order in their respective spheres woman in her home doing the simple duties of life that must be done can and should exhibit faithfulness obedience and love as sincere as angels in their spheres Conformity to the will of God makes any work honorable that must be done. So the simple household duty that we have, let us do it to the best of our ability. When we are doing the dishes, let us spend some time on them and do them correctly. When we are spreading the bed, let us do so neatly. Whatever we do, we do it unto God. It is our own. It is our Home. let us keep our home clean let us keep our home tidy and let us keep our souls clean again not of self it is of christ so let us allow christ to reign in our lives dear god and father again this morning i thank you for health and for strength and for food and for our home and for everything that you have provided please lord as I admonish others, please help me to do that which is right and what is that which is just. Help that somebody, this program will be a blessing to somebody that they will follow, knowing that you are a clean God, you're a holy God, you are a God of order. So help us, Lord, to order our steps in your way. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for all that you have done. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.